Have you ever wanted to try Linux properly but don't want your Windows installation to disappear? Or are you wanting to dual boot both operating systems with a nice menu on startup? Then this simple to follow guide will show you how you can easily dual boot Windows and Linux on your PC. And if after trying this guide you just want to go back to Windows for whatever reason, you'll be able to do that too. All you need to get started is a USB drive at least 8GB in size. But let me stop myself right there, because you, yes you, have the chance to win Intel's latest i7 mini PC from Simply Nuck. And everyone's invited, so head on down to the link in the video description for your chance to win. Windows and Linux have their pros and cons. As a quick overview, Linux is free, fast, and also has better security while Windows has much more compatible software available. By dual booting, you get the best of both worlds. I'm going to use a mini PC for my example, but this guide can be used for laptops and desktops too. So let's get cracking. Do you have Windows 11 installed already? If not, I've linked a how-to in the video description. For this guide, we're going to use Ubuntu, one of the more popular Linux distributions, but other ones should work just the same. Head on over to the download page of your chosen Linux distribution or follow the Ubuntu link in my video description and download it. You should be downloading a .iso file. Next, grab your USB drive and make sure there's nothing important on it as it's going to be completely wiped. Plug it into your PC if you haven't already and head to the Rufus download page, also linked in the video description. Run Rufus and choose the Linux ISO file you downloaded earlier. Check the correct USB drive is selected. I can't stress this enough, if you choose the wrong drive, it's going to get wiped. All the other options should be filled in automatically because Rufus is awesome just like that. Click start and continue the prompts to create the Linux installation media. Alright, the next step is to create a Linux partition on your storage drive to dual boot Linux. At the moment, Windows is using all of your main storage drive for itself, but we're going to partition it so Linux can have its own slice. Right click your Windows icon and choose Disk Management. There's a list of drives here. Windows should be C drive, which you can confirm by going to this PC and checking if it has the Windows icon. So back in Disk Management, I'll right click the C drive partition and choose Shrink Volume. You'll need to allocate space for the Linux OS. The recommended amount for Ubuntu is at least 25GB, but it's up to you how much you want to allocate. I've got a 1TB SSD and I'm going to give Linux about half. For an exact calculation, 1 gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. Now that you've got your new partition, it will show as unallocated, and that's it. Before we install Linux, it's best to disable Secure Boot if it's enabled on your PC, as it often causes issues with dual booting Linux. To check if it's enabled, type in System in your search bar and go into System Information. Find Secure Boot State and see if it's on. If it is, click the Windows icon, then Power, and hold the Shift key while clicking Restart. You'll end up on an Options menu. Choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and select UEFI Firmware Settings. Your BIOS may look different to mine but use your keyboard arrow keys if mouse isn't available to navigate to the secure boot option. Here's mine. Disable it with the enter key and save and exit. Now it's time to install Linux. Plug in the Linux USB installation media we created earlier if it isn't already. Next, click Windows, Power, hold the Shift key and click Restart. 
choose user device and select the Linux USB drive. Ubuntu will boot. Press enter. You can try Ubuntu if you want before installing it, but I'm assuming you're committed to dual booting the Penguin, so click install. Follow the prompts. You can connect to Wi-Fi now or later. Eventually you'll come to this screen notifying you that Ubuntu will be installed alongside Windows Boot Manager on the allocated space we made earlier. Then there's some more setting up to do which is pretty self-explanatory. Once you've set up Linux, restart, remove the USB and see what happens. If you only boot into Windows, you'll need to head back into the BIOS. Click the Windows icon, power, then hold the shift key on the keyboard while clicking restart. Click troubleshoot and then advanced options. Choose UEFI firmware settings. We need to find the option that allows us to choose the boot order. So look for any boot settings. Once you've found your boot order, move Ubuntu to the top. And save and exit. After the restart, you should see the Linux boot menu, which will allow you to choose your operating system. Nice one. Ubuntu isn't difficult to use. You've got your navigation with pre-installed software, and settings panel to get you started. For web browsing and document creation, it's pretty straightforward. If you decide you don't want Linux anymore, back up any files you want to keep and head back to disk management in Windows. Delete the partition we created earlier. You can then expand the drive partition to take up the remaining space to go back to how it was originally. It's that easy. And if you don't want Windows anymore, look up Gparted on Linux to delete it. That's all for this one, and happy dual booting. Cheers!